While playing the harp may seem like a very relaxing thing to do, there's actually a lot going on in your body that can contribute to holding tension and being tense. Things like uh, emotional stress and pressure of playing the instrument. There's also a lot of physical activity going on, not only with all the muscles in your body, but also in your brain. There's so much going on, it's like fireworks. If you think about it, playing the harp is much like running a marathon. There is every part of your body engaged in the action. So what sorts of things can contribute to tension and um, stress of the body when you're playing? There's a couple different things. Um, some of them might come to your mind naturally, things like a stressful schedule. When you're coming to the harp, you're going to have a lot on your, on your mind that um, is going to distract you and might be causing tension in your body without you actually knowing it. So it's kind of a subconscious thing. There's also things like uh, your position at the harp. So um, let's just go over checking your position at the harp. While the harp generally stays the same in its shape and form, every person, every body is shaped differently. So each person is going to need to come at the harp a little bit differently. Okay, so we're going to go over the number one thing you need to do when you go to sit at the harp and when you're thinking about dealing with stress, tension, and trying to be relaxed. And that is check your position at the harp. The first thing that might come to mind is how your hands are positioned at the harp. That's actually not the first thing you should be thinking about. The first thing you should be thinking about is your bench, how you're seated at your harp. It would be wonderful if you could get an adjustable bench. All of us are not the same height. I'm more on the petite side. And so for me, I need more height. Whereas you wonderfully tall people, you are going to need something that's going to be lower for you at the harp. So you've got your bench, go ahead and sit down and make sure your feet are touching the floor for at least this point um, of, of the setting up of your position. And go ahead and just get a little comfortable. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to do what we call find the balance point of the harp. And that means we tip the harp back. This works for all harps. And find the position when it's not falling backwards and it's not going forwards. Okay, that's called the balance point of the harp. Now the reason why we want to have balance point and find that balance point is because the harp is such a big cumbersome instrument. If we had all whatever this is, 72 pounds, resting on our shoulders, we would have a lot of um, physical ailments. It would be just too much weight and it would be very, very difficult to play. So finding that balance point relieves a lot of the weight off your shoulder and so now the harp is keeping its weight in itself. Now that we found the balance point of the harp, we're going to do what we call meet the harp. So don't think of it as bringing the harp towards you. A lot of times when we think of bringing the harp towards ourselves, we go past the tipping point of that balance point and all of a sudden we have 50 or more pounds resting on our shoulder. So instead of bringing the harp to you, you want to come to the harp. And that means you might need to sit further on the edge of your bench. For taller people, you'll be sitting further back, just because your legs are longer. For shorter people like myself, I need to sit further on the edge of my bench so I can meet that balance point. When I say meet that balance point, what I'm meaning is that your knees are meeting this back part of the harp, this back body of the harp. They're meeting it and they're gently resting up against it, and the harp is resting up against them. And then once you've met that balance point with your knees, once you've met the harp with your knees, then you just come and meet it with your shoulder. So there's really no weight on your shoulder. And now that you've found the balance point, just think of the harp floating and you're coming around. And you're just coming around the harp and floating. You're not holding it. You're not bringing the harp towards you. A lot of it's just a lot of mental pictures that you can give yourself that is actually going to help your body approach the harp in a better way. So we have the harp back on our shoulder and our knees are touching it so there's really not any weight. I can lean back and the harp is not going to fall anywhere. So I know that I'm at a good spot here. You want to really make sure when you're sitting at the harp that your hips are aligned. You don't want to be rotated one way 
so you have one leg further this way and one leg that way. You really want to make sure you're seated firmly, and if that means you have to readjust. So like for me, okay, I'm leaning a little more towards this way. Get your hips aligned, adjust your heart if need be, and make sure that you've just got a nice straight line, just a very A line, line going all the way down. Okay, here's a few things that have helped me in the past um, approach the harp in a relaxed manner. There's a few things that I have found helpful. One is to sit down to practice. And before you actually play, before you actually pull the harp back to yourself, set everything aside. Set all distractions aside, whether it's family issues or what are you going to make for dinner or one of the kids has a runny nose. Just, <laughs> just set it all aside and think, that will be there for later. Write it on a sticky note if you're afraid you're going to forget to pull out of the chicken for dinner and sit down at the harp with just a clean fresh slate in your mind and just think about this is such an enjoyable thing and you want to make the most of this practice session. The second thing you want to make sure you do is that you are breathing. A lot of times we can hold tension because we're holding our breaths so you really want to make sure you've got a lot of oxygen going because that's what's going to keep the blood flowing to your brain and your muscles. So when I've had a stressful day and I'm going to sit down to practice. I write everything I can on a sticky note that I'm afraid I'm going to forget or that I need to do, and I put it down and I save it for later. I sit down at the harp, I check my position, make sure my hips are aligned and I'm not leaning one more or the other. I tip the harp back, find the balance point, meet the balance point, and I just sit there. And I breathe in and out and just relax. I've been doing a million things at a million miles an hour and now it's time for harp. After I feel like, okay, I'm relaxed, I'm ready to go, then I start to think about what does it mean to be relaxed and am I relaxed? I ask myself, am I relaxed down to my fingertips? If I need to, I shake out my hands. Keep breathing as you're doing this. Then I ask, am I relaxed down to my toes? Yes, we can hold tension there. Then I ask, am I relaxed to my shoulders? Roll my shoulders back a few times. What about my neck? Yep. And make sure it's aligned and looking straight. Don't cock your head like this. Just keep it nice and straight. Then, if you have a really hard time knowing what it feels like to be relaxed, do that whole procedure, think about relaxing your fingertips to toes, take as long as you need. And then just close your eyes and memorize it. A lot of times we don't really realize what it means to be relaxed. And so when we've reached that point, maybe it's something we've never really felt before or thought about before, and we can so easily forget what it feels like. And we can be playing and think we're relaxed when we really aren't. So memorize that feeling. Close your eyes. Think about it. So you have a reference point when you are playing. You can remember that feeling in both mentally and physically. So when you are in your playing and you're starting to feel tension, you remember what being relaxed means and you can change that. Other things that can contribute to holding tension and playing the harp is if we're not treating our bodies wisely. And what I mean by that is not giving ourselves every benefit we can to coming at the harp at our optimal level. Things um, that can inhibit you doing that is uh, if you're not stretching, if you're not exercising, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're drinking too much caffeine, if you're eating too much sugar. You need to really make sure that if you really want to be successful at the harp and come and play at your optimum level, that you are giving yourself every benefit that you can. So drink lots of water, cut back on the sweets. Um, do a little stretching routine, and we can talk more about that later in another video. Uh, make sure you're getting in some exercise. That could just be a brisk 20-minute walk. Fit in what you can, and everything will just only benefit you as you approach the harp.